Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna be just taking you along with me as I meal prep our low calorie dinners for this week. First, I've got my oven preheating to 400 and I am going to cut up this yellow squash and zucchini. Here we go. Okay, so here I've got my zucchini and squash all cut up and I am just going to spray with this, cal this zero calorie spray and put some salt and pepper on it and we will be all ready to go. You can use anything you want to do this, but also always check your calorie count. This has zero calories, which is why I like to use it. And then you're gonna mix it all up really well. And then these are turkey meatballs. There are 150 calories in six of them. And so I'm gonna do nine per meal for a total of 225 calories. But make sure you get the turkey meatballs because the other ones have more. Um, and then there's a tablespoon, there's five calories in a tablespoon of Worcestershire. And I'm just doing one tablespoon of that. And this is sugar-free raspberry jam. And I'm doing a tablespoon of that. I believe there's 10 calories in that And then I got well. this. I haven't tried this before either. This is like a teriyaki marinade. And there are five calories for a tablespoon. keep in mind when you're meal prepping is you really need to measure because every calorie counts when you're calorie counting um, it's a little annoying but you get used to it and then you know exactly what you're putting in your body okay so they're looking pretty good I like mine a little browner though so what I think I'm gonna do is turn that off and put them on broil for just a minute the thing about that is you have to keep a really close eye on them at this point so I read an article one time and it said that people actually consume about 20% more calories than what they think that they do. And I always try to keep that in mind when I am calorie counting. Um, if I think that I'm having 1200, I'm probably having more like, you know, 14, 1500. So just keep that in mind if you're not losing especially. Maybe you are consuming a little more than what you thought you were. Um, you could try cutting it back 100 calories or two a day and just see where you're at. Obviously, I'm not a health professional and seek counsel from your doctor if you're worried about it, but um, calorie counting is something I always end up falling back on when I have trouble losing weight and I always start losing when I actually do it right and I'm eating the right things and calorie counting. So I will be back as soon as these meatballs sauce cooks down a little bit. Okay, so the meatballs are done and I had enough to do seven meals with that one bag. And guys, I think that bag, I have to look, but it was like six or seven dollars. So that's a dollar a meal for the meat. I think that is pretty good. Um, and then I just have some frozen broccoli here and I'm gonna put a little water on it and put it in the microwave. Here are our boxes. I've got the ones on the plate because I'm eating some for dinner tonight. Um, but I'll let you know what it looks like when I get the veggies in there. So I also, I figured up that sauce and there was 35 calories for the sauce that I made. So that's five calories each. So, so far for the meatballs, it's 230 calories. Both of the vegetable options I'm making are um, 20 calories per cup. And I'm gonna try to do two cups in each one. So that's only 270 calories so far for this dinner. on the broil for like two minutes and they look great. This stuff guys is so good. So now what I'm gonna do is put two cups in each of the ones that are left. I did broccoli in a couple of them um, and then the splash will be on the rest. Okay, so I had to get some more broccoli going for the rest, but this is what we've got. I've got seven meals here. I'm eating one now, that's why, but so it's the meatballs and two cups of vegetables, 270 calories, guys. Look how much food that is. That's a lot of food. And so then 
If someone is still hungry, they can have, I have rice cooked in one of these little containers and they can have a half a cup of rice, it's, it's 100 calories and so that's 370 for dinner. That's pretty good. Um, or if you were not hungry, you could stop at the 270 and save calories for something else. But yeah, this is what they look like. So we're almost out of meals, so I'm going to prepare something for the next couple days. Um, this is one of our very favorite recipes, chipotle pork. Super simple. It does need to cook all day, so you have to plan ahead a little bit. Um, all you do is cut up an onion, put that in the bottom of a pot, and then I'm going to take this out. It's a pork bone-in pork shoulder roast, pork butt. Guys, this is such a good meal. Um, this is a big piece of meat. It was $18, so not bad. Then I'm gonna, so I'm gonna put this in there, put chipotle peppers in adobo sauce, and a can of Diet Coke. You can use, you can use any kind of diet soda that you want. Um, and then I'm gonna put a couple packets of Splendid on there, and it's delicious. Let it cook for like six, seven hours. It'll fall apart. I'll show you guys, but here we go. Okay, then I'm going to do about a tablespoon of garlic. This has five calories per teaspoon. So I figure we'll do 15 calories for that. And then this whole jar has um, 140 calories. And that's the only calories in the so-called sauce that's going to be in here. Now I'm sprinkling three packets of Splenda. You could use any kind of sugar-free sweetener on this that you'd like. The onion had 50 calories, um, so that puts our total, what's our total? 140, 155, so basically 200 calories and then plus the meat, and then I will divide that 200 calories by the amount of servings that we end up making out of this when I weigh the meat. So that's it, that's ready. I'll put a lid on this and just let it cook all day. It'll fall apart when it's done. Um, now, the, this does not, I know some people are against fake sugar, but I am making this into a low calorie recipe. If you're not, this is so good if you layer a bunch of brown sugar on there and use a can of Dr. Pepper. I actually adapted this from a Pioneer Woman recipe and um, I'm glad I was able to because it was one of our favorites and we had to cut it out until I could figure it out because it was not a diet recipe. But I'll be back in a few hours and show you guys what it looks like when it's all finished. Okay, I just want to show you guys how easily this just like shreds off. It's been in here for almost six hours. So I'm just going to shred it all up and let it simmer in the juices for a bit and then we're going to eat. Okay, so now I'm just going to weigh everything out on my scale here. You turn it on. And then it's on ounces. No, put this back, buddy. So then I'm going to just take my thing, and if you hit this button, put on the button in the middle, it goes, it zeroes out, and I'm going to put four ounces in each, each one. is about 220 calories um, the pork roast there was kind of a little differing opinion so I went right in the middle of both of those so together good. oh <laughs> but I will post the next one that I make and then we're just gonna eat these with lettuce or like a salad or coleslaw um, and we'll have to keep it around 180 calories to keep our meals at 400 Okay, so it's another day, we're out of meals, and so I'm just gonna try to meal prep a bunch of stuff really quick and see how much I can get done. Um, it's 3.58, and first off, I'm gonna make some rice. So I have a rice cooker. If you do not have one, get one. These things are amazing. I'm gonna show you how easy it is. So, it's, for one part rice, it's two and a half parts water. 
So I'm just gonna do four of these scoops. And then I have my water right here. So then I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do 11, so not quite. And it's it's perfect rice every time. You can't fail, and that's why I love it because let's face it, rice is hard sometimes when you're doing it on the stove. Okay, so next, um, these are going to be super easy. Oh, I forgot to preheat. I'm just going to preheat the oven to 400 because I'm trying to go quickly. So I got these chicken sausages. They are. 160 calories a link so I think we're gonna do one and a half links per meal and I'll cut them up in pieces but to cook them I'm just gonna keep them whole but I got these for $1.29 at a discount grocery store I went to which is a great deal they just need to be used quickly and so my next thing is I'm gonna throw these on a cookie sheet and get them in the oven So now I'm gonna cut, I've got, how much chicken? Almost five pounds of chicken that I'm gonna cut up in pieces and then put in the skillet. Um, I feel like you have to get a little more creative with low calorie recipes to get them to taste delicious. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Making sure it's still good, it's still good. Um, if you have a favorite recipe, let me know. Something to keep in mind is birds have fewer calories. So whether that be turkey meat or I give my dog all the fatty pieces. Whether it be turkey meat or turkey, I said turkey, turkey or chicken, you're gonna be able to eat more um, with those cuts of meat. Now we did have steak, the, oh there's a spider. <laughs> Sorry, just a second. Uh, country life. Okay, so we did go to Texas Roadhouse and that place is not bad to eat on a low calorie diet. We had um, a six ounce sirloin. And I think that was only 240 calories and it was delicious. And the mashed potatoes were only 220 calories. And normally I wouldn't even make those because I want to be able to stop myself. But when it's a portioned, controlled, then yes, please give me the mashed potatoes. I had that and um, mixed vegetables. It was really good. So it was a higher meal, but I only had like a couple hundred calories before we went there and I ate zero rolls, which yay me. I thought that was great. But anyways, if you have any good chicken recipes, leave them in the comments below and I will give them a try and I'm gonna cut up this chicken. Okay, so my chicken is cooking. And now what I'm gonna do is get a bunch of vegetables. I keep not making enough to give everyone two cups of vegetables for every meal, but that is such an easy way to get calories or to get a lot of food without a lot of calories. So this time, I'm gonna make a bunch of vegetables. Um, I'm doing green beans right now, and all I'm gonna do is put that cooking spray that I showed you guys in the last meal, because remember, that has zero calories. So you don't wanna use olive oil or butter when you're calorie counting, because it takes away so many of your calories, even though it's delicious. Um, I would rather have more food than butter, but I mean, obviously, if you want butter, have butter and just have less. I think that a tablespoon of butter is 100 calories. And you can have a cup of most vegetables for 20. I gotta check what green beans are. I'm making a bunch of green beans. I like to cook these until they're almost burnt and they're like fries almost. It's my favorite. So they're gonna be in 400 degrees until they're done. These are frozen, so it's probably gonna take 30 minutes. Let me see the calorie count on these. these. These are a little higher than broccoli. There's 25 calories per three fourths of a cup. So I'll probably do a cup and a half each and that'll be 50 calories for the green beans. So I'm just gonna sprinkle everything with salt and pepper and some cooking spray. Okay, so it has been 30 minutes exactly, and so, oh, that light, sorry. So it's been 30 minutes, so far I have 
almost five pounds of chicken cut up and cooking. I've got those sausages that are almost done. Rice is cooking. Um, and then the green beans. And now I'm gonna put, the broccoli is gonna go in the microwave. These I'm gonna wait until I have a room in my oven and those are gonna go in the oven. And I'm gonna show you guys how I do my onions. And then I think I'm gonna try to make these two to go with some of, I wanna try these. And then I'm gonna put bacon in too when we have time. So meal prepping does not have to take a long time, guys. If you just put, give yourself an hour, you can have meals for five days. And I'm making this for three people, so it could even be longer than five days. Um, but okay, so what are we doing next? I'm gonna do the onions next, here we go. Okay, so now I'm gonna cut up these onions and saute them because we love onions like that. But I wanna show you guys a great trick if you have a food processor. Okay, so here's my food processor. And you want to put the blade on to where this side here is up. Not the grating, but yeah, that one. And then you just close your lid. Turn it on. In which we want love caught in your eyes Waiting for the sunrise I barely even knew who you were What did you do? I didn't care Cause you were perfect, I swear But somebody told me that So not only do I not have to cry You just throw that one away We lost one But look at this. Isn't that amazing? Oh my gosh, I love it. That's how I do my fajita peppers. And this and on the other side is a grater. And if you wanted to grate your own cheese, you can do that. But I use it for zucchini. Um, when we get all the zucchini from the garden in, then I do that and measure it out into two cup portions and bag them. But it's pretty awesome. So now all I'm gonna do is put this in another skillet with just salt and pepper and a little bit of that oil. If I wasn't doing low calorie, I would put like a whole stick of butter and it would be delicious. Um, but they're still good this way, just not quite as good. Uh, but yep, yeah, just trying to add some different things into our meals. My rice has 10 minutes left. And then I'll show you what that looks like. My chicken is still cooking. And then I've got the green beans and the sausage in the oven, and now I'm gonna have my onions, and the next, I think I'm gonna get the broccoli in the microwave. Okay, so fast forwarding ahead, I've got one and a half sausages, and that's 240 calories, 40 calories of broccoli, which is two cups, and 30 calories of sauteed onions. I've got all these, I'm gonna put the zoodles in mine with half a cup of low calorie pizza sauce, and then I wanted to show you guys the rice. So that's the rice and it's so fluffy and good every single time. And so my husband will add half a cup of rice to his meals. The chicken, what I put in there was two tablespoons of this skinny girl, which is five calories and two tablespoons of this, which is 10 calories because five calories a tablespoon. Oh, sorry, my baby just fell on And salt and pepper and a tablespoon of garlic, which is 15 calories. So I will divide this chicken up and weigh the chicken. I'll probably do eight ounces each, which is 220 calories, and then divide the amount of calories per the sauce for each container. Um, I'm running out of time because I have to go to the ball field, but I did all of this in an hour and 15 minutes, and that is with going to drop my son off at baseball really quick. Oh, and then I have my zoodles in the microwave and here are my green beans. If I had more time, I'd honestly probably let these cook for about five, four minutes at 400, but they look pretty good. And I will add those to the meals with the chicken. And so yeah, just so you know, you guys can meal prep and it can be fun. And if you're starving, eat something because if you don't, like if this doesn't satisfy you and you wait, then you're gonna binge eat later. So if you're still hungry after you eat this, drink a couple cups of water. And then if you're still hungry, just eat something. Don't stress yourself out about it but eat something that's healthy for you like some celery is maybe a little bit of peanut butter or cucumbers is something we always go to and then the little sugar-free jellos that are five calories i love watching my 600 pound life on hulu if you haven't seen it check it out um, but that's what they eat when they're on their strict diets i'm like if that is what helps you lose weight that's what i'm gonna have to 
But I hope that this video was helpful for you and good luck on your low calorie meals. And if you want some more of these videos, let me know. Okay, so I just want to jump on here. The sausage is 240 calories and then I have 30 calories of these zucchini noodle things. 30 calories of the sauteed onions and 25 calories of this sauce. I did a fourth of a cup of this is the lowest carb sauce there is. I'm not sure about calorie wise, but low carb, this is the one you want. It's just the Walmart Great Value brand pizza sauce. So these are these two are for me because I like zucchini and I love sauce. So I made mine a little different.